Okay, so welcome you all once again to today's section. Today we're going to look at uh, one of the advanced cost accounting techniques called activity-based costing. So that's today's section. So let's look at uh, We will call it activity-based costing. Sorry. Okay. So activity based costing calling known as what a b c that is today's section so make sure that at the end of the class you know every aspect activity based custom you know it opposed the traditional costing or traditional absorption custom. Now we have the traditional cost accounting techniques. Then we have the advanced, the modern ones, right? The contemporary approaches. Number one, we look at throughput versus marginal costing. So marginal costing is one of them. The marginal costing opposes the throughput. Good. Number two, we also have what you call the absorption costing. Absorption costing. It also opposes the ABC, what you are going to do today. So that is a trend. Unfortunately for us, the traditional ones are not in our syllabus. It's in the introduction to management accounting at level one. Although the examiner expects you to have a fair idea about these two. So you don't need to worry at all. I think I will upload those videos. Those videos are not included in what I sent you. So I'll upload them separately so that you go through them fine. So today we will clear this so that at least the advanced cost accounting techniques we've done to you. So let's start. But before I start, I'll go through, talk about few info about the absorption and what ABC came to solve. There's a challenge with the absorption. ABC came to solve it. Good. All the advanced ones, they are in to solve a particular challenge. Okay. So let's start. Absorption custom. Now, traditionally, all the overhead costs are absorbed using one or few rates. The absorption rate or the recovering rate goes. But ABC came to say no. The cost or the overhead cost must be absorbed on activity basis. So based on the work that you perform, basically. Okay. So let's give an example. So let's assume that in a class of um, three students, one scored 30, other one scored 45, other person scored 60, what would be the average mark? So your average will be, you sum all up and then you divide by three, good. So the average of these three, what do you get? Then we use it for analysis. Absorption simple means put all the overheads together and then use their average. Absorb the overhead based on the average level. So the average will be? 45. Good, so that's 45, right? So that means on average, nobody pass if this is their class score. And then, then the pass rate is 50. So 30, 45, 60 on average, nobody passed in the class. Would it be a T2 at uh, A, B, and C? C will not understand that someone's poor performance, you affect my good performance. No, I will not understand. So that's the challenge that we have. Um, we can get a full version of absorption in the video that I'll go straight on the ABC. 
Now the absorption will value or will appraise. We we'll analyze the situation using what the four to five. This is totally wrong. Which is totally wrong. The only good news about the absorption is that it's so straightforward, fast, easy to calculate. Just run and down the average. That is it. So the absorption is just one rate and to absorb the overheads. But activity base in no way. If you do that, it's a mistake. Don't even try. Use the activity, the work that you perform on the job to what, account for the cost or to absorb the cost. So if you know you perform huge work on that particular item, then assign huge cost to that particular product. So as you can see here, over here, this guy will be so happy. He will be very happy. Why? Because he's got 35 and they say he has got 45. That's a good news for him. So this will be very happy. This will be very mad. So I've got 60, which is 10 more than uh, for the past week. And because somebody filled in my group, he said, What? I filled the paper. So that is the game. So uh, activity based, no, will value them using their respective marks obtained at the exam. You know, on the overhead, sometimes it's very difficult to know the respective marks. And that is why we have to what, absorb them. So let's see. So I'll give you another example, real life example. Let's take a car manufacturer. Car manufacturer. So let's assume that um, we manufacture car and probably car types good. So these two, which of them will manufacture plenty? Tell us. Car type. Car type. Mm, but not a car. I like that. Thank you. Every car will take five. Five. Yes, plus fair. Five. So let's assume that if we manufacture 100 cars, that means on at least we should have what 500 car types. But each car will take what? That depends on the car type. Of. Okay. Now, these two here we have produced what 100. Here we produce what 500. Which of these will demand more work? Is the 100 cars or the 500 types? Okay. Now, Car and child, which of them will take more time, more activity, more work, more hands before it can be ready? That is the car. Now, according to the absorption, we will put all of them together in one basket and find their average so that we can use the average to absorb the overhead. So at the end of the day, we end up absorbing more to the one that we produce more. Which is so, 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 so bad. So in short, the absorption costing, we also call it volume base, volume. The one that you produce more, it is highly likely that you give me more cost, irrespective of the work that you've done. Because I don't know, you put all the cost together, so all the cost. Let's just assume that the cost that you have, overhead cost that you've incurred, total overhead, is um, $20,000. That is the overhead cost. Now, if we should absorb this overhead based on the unit produced, oh, this one is making what? 600. So therefore, I'll divide this one by 600 units. What do I get? I don't the day. Okay, so it will be $33.33 per unit, right? Okay, so now let's absorb. So therefore, overhead cost will be 100 by 33.333. So that'll be 33.33. 33. Then 500 by this. And that'll be very huge. So that'll give us 
Mm -hmm. Any idea? Hundred by thirty three dot three three. Yeah. Okay. So hundred times three three dot three three. The three must be four. Good. So three thousand. Then this one will be sixteen thousand, right? So sixteen thousand. Six, six, maybe seven. So you and uh, looking at this and see, oh, the tire rather have gotten more overhead than the car. Meanwhile, you spend much time and much energy, much work at the, these hundred cars than what the tire. So the traditional absorption costing have a challenge. The challenge is that we call it volume based directional. If more are produced, it's likely likely that you absorb more for that particular item. Good. So there must be a savior. Come and then save this um, inefficient costing technique. So that's why we introduce what you call activity-based costing. That when activity-based costing arrives. He will tell no 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 me. I will not put all the overhead together as one and I'll absorb them. No, I'll not do that. Instead, I will break them down because activity by activity. So if you display say the number of um energy or time that I spend on the job, I'll compare the time that I spend on car and then value it. Time that I spend on car time and value it. That is all. So you use the activity. Don't put all the overhead costs together and just use one way to absorb them. That is all. So let's go to the activity. When activity is, okay, we say no. We shouldn't do that. No. Okay. So activity based simple means the absorption of the overhead cost based on the activity level. That is the activity based on the work, the actual work performed. Good, basically. Okay. Okay, so in short, with activity base, the overhead cost will be absorbed based on the activity level. So tell us that each and every question that we said normally on activity base, we will ask you to do the traditional one. When you are done, then you do the ABC. That's the an activity based question. Good. Great. So let's see. Now there are some steps that we have to go through for that of ABC. So for ABC, all we have to know is one, the advantages. Its advantages, the steps, and the calculation. We are interested in the calculation and the advantages and some few challenges. Okay. So that is it. So now let's quickly look at the steps that you have to go through. The steps. There are only six steps. So the step in ABC. If you want to adopt, or any company want to adopt activity-based system or activity-based costing, they should follow these steps, and these steps will help them well. So, first step is identify the major activity. That is the step one. Identify the major activity that give rise to the overhead. Identify. Step one, um, identify the major overhead, the major activity, major activity that give rise to the overhead. 
that give rise to the overheads. That give rise to the overheads. When we start the program, we said overheads. Overheads are cost that cannot be traced to the cost center or the cost unit, or is the summation of the indirect cost that is the overhead. They are the cost that you cannot identify easily. So that's the first step. I write a step down, and then I'll use a diagram, put them in a nice diagram so you can appreciate it there. Step two, after we have identified the major activity that causes the overhead or that gives rise to overhead. We now have to find what you call the cost driver. Determine the cost driver. Determine the cost driver or determine what causes the cost of each activity. Determine what causes the cost of each activity. In short, we call it the cost driver. It's only in activity based costing where we have a cost driver or we don't have a cost mate. Yes, we are here to find a cost mate. Okay, so that is it. So the step two, all right, cost driver here, identify or determine the cost driver. So determine the cost. Driver. Now the driven force of the cost. We say identify the major activity. After you've identified what caused that major activity, what result cost in that? That is the second stage, the cost driver. What results this cost, this overhead? If it's a machine overhead or machine running cost, what will result machine running cost? Good. And that is it. Then we go to the step three. Step three means calculate the cost pool. Calculate the cost pool. Calculate the cost pool. Cost pool. Or total cost for each of the activity. Total cost pool for each of the activities. Let me add one to it. For each of the activity. Good. So that is it. Then step four. Step four. Uh, usually from step one up to step three, let them now give it to you straightforward. The step four to the step six is where we have to come in in the exams. So all the exam questions, we will start from step four up to step six. Let's see step four, what is there? Calculate the overhead absorption rate for each of the cost driver. Calculate the overhead absorption rate for each of the cost driver. So calculate what we call Overhead absorption rate for each of the cost driver. In short, just calculate cost driver rate CDR. That's the name that I call it, cost driver rate. So you can just make them short, 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 short. First one is major activity, cost driver, cost to CDR in that order. Short, 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 short. So these are the steps. I'll use a diagram to explain these steps more. Okay. So let's go to the step five. Step five, calculate the total overhead cost for each product manufactured, for each product. Calculate the total overhead cost for each 
product manufacturer. So five total overhead cost. Total overhead cost for each product. Total overhead cost. Uh, for each product, each product manufactured, I'll call it totality. So I call it totality. The total overhead cost for each of the products manufactured. These are the steps if a company wants to adopt ABC. Just tell them to follow these steps one after the other. So the next or the last step is the next or the last step. That is step six. The last or the next step is calculate over cost per unit for each of the products. So this one is total. The next step is per unit. Uh -huh. So the step is just Copy the same thing by making per unit. So overhead cost per unit for each of the products. So overhead cost per unit. Calculate the overhead. The overhead cost 